road, a long, narrow stretch with a smooth or paved surface, made for traveling by motor vehicle, carriage, etc., between two or more points, street or highway, road, a way or course. An old poet encouraged us to take the road less traveled, but things get complicated when that road is chosen for us, or there's no other road to choose. A group of students and I discussed the road by Cormac McCarthy, and then explored the various roads we've traveled in our own lives. What obstacles had we conquered? What dangerous territories had we traversed through? Did we choose this road, or did someone else's decision force us down it? Students set forth with this creative prompt in one hand, and the end of the world novel in the other, and this multi-genre project is the result. I will now briefly introduce each piece, and then discuss my reflections on each of them afterwards. The first is M's Bookcast. I was able to offer a lot of help with the bookcast, considering how many I had done this semester. M was really impressed with the ideas I offered, and it really emphasized the importance of us as teachers being involved in the same kind of writing and reading that our students partake in. M decided to bookcast about how the road reminded her of her own life and did so through this silent video that speaks volumes. Teardrops in the back of leaves. The weight is heavy, and the pain makes through. One more try, that's do it. One more try, and I'm through. Take the pain right out of you. M's bookcast speaks for itself. A research paper can be effective and allow a student to explore an issue through academic means. This bookcast and other genres involved in a multi-genre inquiry, however, allow the student to explore their personal connections with the text. While the next piece is not as personal, it still takes a creative approach to the road and shows a deep understanding of some of the book's main themes. The road is long, longer still without love, love that hungers for a home. Homes unlit and abandoned are no place to rest its head. The road is hardened, hardened like calloused hands withering in the cold, cold that pierces bone and soul, soul, what we used to have before the world began. In the beginning, there was the barren earth, with ashes covering the ground. This earth is formless and empty. Evil hovers over the waters. This time, we are the creator. As you can see in the poem by Kay, the poetry moves well and acted as a great opportunity for me to speak to her about some of the things that just make free verse work. I sent her several different poems by free verse poets and blank verse poets this project gives you the opportunity to continually teach students, and they are even more engaged as you personalize and tailor your responses to their specific and more meaningful works of writing. Now, this next piece is an excerpt from Jay's short story. Jay asks that I read his excerpt for him, and this is the one that he chose for me to read. It begins as follows. I kept trying to find a reason to go over and talk to her, and finally asked my brother to throw a frisbee as close as he could to her beach chair. As I jogged over to retrieve it, she didn't seem to notice at all. I sat there holding the frisbee, searching for something that might bridge the gap between our worlds. What are you reading? The road. After a while, she glanced down at him. Are we still the good guys? She smiled at him like they were getting away with something. Yeah, we're still the good guys, she said. Jay does a great job of placing the book and the importance of a certain line in the context of new characters within his own story. It doesn't minimize what he learned about the road. Instead, he takes a theme from the book 
and incorporates it into his own work. In a research paper, students might find ways to research themes and do a great job of reporting back to us, but when given the opportunity, they can use themes of an established work to jumpstart their own writing. And how much more will they remember what happened in the road if what they create is branching off from it? What you don't know is that the way that he wrote his dialogue is also reflective of the unique style and lack of a punctu punctuation that Cormac McCarthy himself uses. It's a great new opportunity for students to learn in a new way. Feedback on the project was wonderful. Almost every student enjoyed the creative process involved. One student remarked that they'd feel much more comfortable if they could write poetry and other works in place of the research paper. Others called our combined creative project fun and different, and still another remarked that it was like getting a prompt, a direction, but having free reign over how you want to connect back to your subject. As for what could be corrected, Many students were concerned that all creative writing might not help them in the future, meaning the emphasis on research papers in their current education has left some of them believing that those are the only serviceable writing in the future jobs and college level programs, which was an interesting, interesting thing to notice. A number of students were uncomfortable sharing their work as they felt it was not ready yet. To avoid this in an actual classroom would be easier, as I wouldn't go into the project suggesting that I'd be sharing their work with a number of teachers in my graduate school class. Now, for a few caveats. While, ex while everything went really well, and the creative response on the part of my students was successful, my sample audience was a creative writing group. These people decided long ago to meet together as writers and help each other be creative. So now I wonder how people who did not already like writing might respond to this particular assignment. I cannot wait to implement this on a much grander scale that stretches over portions of a semester rather than over the course of one month and only a few meetings. I was very encouraged by the emailing, the ability to teach students throughout the process, and how much more students cared about their work when they felt like the creators instead of reporters. I do think my results will shift as I implement this option with a class that is not so exposed and cognizant of the writing world. However, I think this setup can be beneficial to any student as it allows them to spread their wings while also giving them a direction to fly. Thank you for listening. <laughs>